Hello everybody, my name is Petr Kukny and today I will speak about Gea Michatal as a white and Vastimilianza as a black. I will show the most common plans in these positions in Spanish defense and at the end I will show why white lost. Yes, even Michatal is losing sometimes and uh, it's happened today, so I mean in Sarajevo 1966, where black Czech chess legend Vastimilianza outplayed great Michatal. Okay. Don't worry, I think that this game will be exciting, interesting and you will enjoy it if you like it. Thank you very much for every likes and follows. So we are follow, following the Spanish theory. Spanish theory is so huge and so difficult. So sometimes it's called like Royce Royce of the chess theory and uh, nearly every world chess champion was playing Spanish defense for white or for black. Okay, at least once. Now we are watching interesting position where um, I found it interesting game. Uh, Albin Sotsko, 2006, uh, White played in knight to f1 and the most important square for him is the square on d5. White will go bishop to g5, he will take this knight and of course he is going to d5 immediately. What's interesting here because, you know, I'm going to show you a game which was played in 2006 but I remember this position. Why? Because now I'm coming 50 years um, back and here in the game Tal and Janza, Michal Tal played a knight to c4, but they are playing the same position anyway. Bishop to g5, one exchange, knight to e3 and knight to d5. So even between these two games is 15 years gap they are playing the same position. Main plan for the white is to strike on the right side of the chessboard. So maybe moves like b4, c4, b5. And uh, the biggest uh, black weakness is of course a6 pawn. Uh, the biggest white's advantage should be this pawn because this pawn is only three squares from the most important square a8. So maybe nearly every endgame favored white. Black need to do something and the best black's plan is to be active here so moves like a uh, f4, g4, g5 and of course he need to start the attack. Now it's important to be careful here and um, before black is playing with f5 he need to go out of this diagonal and of course he hit it. So he went to a jade and uh, now maybe it looks for me okay to play rook to b8. Sorry, rook to b8 b4 and rook to b5. Uh, seems to be like uh, black is trying to stop white's um, plan to do it. So he's trying to stop moves like c4, b4, but maybe this maneuver is not the best. As I told you, the best moves are on the left side of the chessboard and black need to find there some active moves. And it will be typical f4 and g5, h5. And uh, this position is interesting because looks like um, maybe Michatal should be enjoying this position for the black side and Bastimilianza should be enjoying to play as a white. But um, that's another story. Michatal is white and he need to play strategically and he need to defend his position. And of course, Bastimilianza uh, need to forget about to play strategically this game and he need to strike and kill a white king. So that, that's the plan, that's the story behind this game and watch this game, what's going on. So Rook to the 8. Uh, I think it's a good move because black will play move c6 and he need to defend uh, d6 in advance. So it's going now, it's happened. And uh, queen to e7. Um, black c, this position where here exactly is only one defender. So maybe just now white's king is not in huge danger. But of course, because uh, from the point of Strategy, strategic play, uh, white is winning. He will take pawn on a6 and of course then is going one, two, three steps and is winning. So black need to be fast. Uh, okay, I will show variation for example why Michatal 
I was not taking this poem. Okay, G4 makes sense, take, take, and F3. Uh, this position is difficult for white. Yes, of course, white is pulled up, but uh, it's under pressure. And everybody knows that in a difficult position, lots of people are making mistakes. So maybe that's the why, why Michal Tala was not happy to play this position, even I'm sure he saw this position. And for example, I'm going to show you some interesting variation where you can see that um, White King is in a danger and it's not funny to save this position at all. So maybe here Black should take on e4, here he should take on g3 and it's an interesting position to have these two rolling pawns and of course uh, White's uh, g1 and piece is in a danger. So that's only variation showing how important is follow our plan. So yes, of course, um, White know that he's nearly winning in nearly every end game if he has time to go a6, a7, a8, but Black need to do his best to not give time uh, to White and he need to strike White. And I think this position is interesting even here. Of course, uh, White is piece up. What do you think about this position? I think that it's a great position for both players and both players are playing for win. Let's come back here and for this reason maybe Michatal was not interesting to take a6 pawn and he came back um, to h2. Of course anyway g4 and of course here is another pawn and we have, this, we have the same question. Why Michatal was not interesting about this pawn on g4? So maybe check this variation what's going on. Yes here uh, Black lost a pawn, but he opened another file. So here is something like a um, huge, huge road, empty road to White King, and maybe moves like f3, knight to f4, take, take. Uh, seems to me like uh, this position is danger. Of course, maybe, for example, here, here, and here, d5, and another interesting position. I'm sure that White's feeling here is a bad feeling. Even he know that he has more material, and you know, just just for imag imagination that uh, White is Michatal, a great attacker. Now he's under heavy defense, and maybe this is too much for him to to hold this position. So for this reason, he was not interesting to take pawn on g4, and he played uh, after this move. He played to c4 by his. Queen. Okay, uh, if you are attacking, for example, here White King, you need to have open files. Open files opened to White King. So, for this reason, it makes sense to take on H3. It's a big mistake to play G3 or to play now maybe move F3. Because, for example, here um, White should try to close the position, and I'm not sure if. Uh, if uh, Black will not open this position if Black will survive uh, next coming move. So for this reason it's a good idea to take everything here and to take every pawn what's possible, where it's possible and as fast as possible. So for example here if um, White is taking on h3 just watch this diagonal. This is ex exactly open file and the most important file. Just knight to g5 and two threads here and here. Okay, maybe uh, this thread to take on h3 is much more important than on f3, but on f3 is another option. For example, here is move f3. And you know, another really difficult position for uh, white. So that's only variation, but uh, white is not happy at all. Uh, white is under heavy pressure and in such of difficult positions the activity is the most important factor. You know, don't count material too early. Just think about defense, activity and uh, these complications I think favored black. So let's come back and hear what's happened. Uh, so white uh, played move f3 but rook to g8 and of course this open file is working well for black and white king is in a danger white is under pressure and white maybe doesn't have time to take his pawn okay check another variation what's going on if white is taking on a6 so black is taking here and maybe here he's going to open this file take take check and um, white king is in a huge danger yes of course uh, 
White is not far to play his pen, but um, for him now it's important to survive. And maybe it's a tough game, maybe here, and I will show some interesting moves, but at the end it will not be the bad variation for both sides, and um, it's end game. It's end game and it's tough end game. Maybe winning, maybe losing, but that's another story. Here, um, White went to h1, maybe it was stronger to take a6 and bishop to h6. Of course, is open g file and rook to g3. Now, uh, White's position is in huge trouble. You know, if White's heavy pieces are coming to defense, that's, that means something is wrong. And I'm sure that Michatel loved this position from black point of view and he's not enjoying as usually this position from his point of view because he is under heavy defense and he need to save and survive and you know uh, it's a difficult to survive this position uh, maybe it's uh, not bad to go to h4 for example something like this is interesting so I'm playing faster but still uh, just imagine that uh, this position is hard and I think that uh, black is winning here but that's another story and we are not far from the end of this game amazing game where black went to g8 and what I love to see here that all black's army is attacking so that's message to us if you are going for attack just play by all your pieces a really important message and you know this game is old older than me or maybe older than you but the fruit of this game is still here play by all your pieces and here okay at the end is a winning game because um, check on g2 of course uh, black is winning even here why because this knight is lost here um, if uh, black will see this position and he will he will see that this knight is lost of course it's, it's the right time to resign for black uh, for white white doesn't have enough compensation for missing queen but that's another story i think that uh, both players know that um, black is winning and at the end of course it's it's another story. So what's happened here? I think we saw a great game where Michatal was surprisingly in a defense and Vlastimil Janza was attacking in a style of Michatal. We saw that in a difficult position lots of people, nearly everybody is making a mistake. So this is an important message to us. Be active, player, be active chess player. Just go for attack and the message from this game is that it's really important to leave your opponent in such a difficult position as you saw in this video. Because in defense, lots of people are making mistakes and they are not such a strong chess player as they are in attack. So that's my advice. That's your time and that's your chess, chance to improve your chess. I hope you enjoyed this video. So thank you very much for every likes and follows. And I hope I will see you soon in our another YouTube chess video. So that's all. Thank you very much for more time and see you soon. Bye bye.